Hey everyone, and welcome back to the show. Tonight we're diving headfirst into the wild world of international trade. Buckle up because things are about to get messy like spilled your ketchup on your favorite shirt messy. Why ketchup, you ask? Well, it all boils down to Saudi Arabia, the oil-rich kingdom that's been making headlines lately. See, they've decided to cool it on buying stuff from us, the good old US of A, and yeah, that includes the tomatoes that make your favorite condiment. Now, before you go stockpiling Heinz like it's the apocalypse, let's break down what this Saudi shift means. Is this the start of an economic cold war? Are we all doomed to a future of dry burgers and sad fries? Let's go. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Okay, first things first. Saudi Arabia and the US, we've been like that couple everyone knows. Mostly solid occasional squabbles, but always there for the big stuff. We buy their oil, they buy our stuff, everyone wins, or so we thought. But lately cracks are showing in this petra-powered romance. The Saudis are turning their attention and their wallets eastward, cozying up to China and opting for their goods instead. It's like finding out your significant other is suddenly obsessed with that new artisanal bakery across town. Ouch. So what gives? Why the sudden cold shoulder from our friends in the desert? To understand that, we need to dive a little deeper into the oil wells of geopolitics. Imagine this. Your go-to coffee shop has been your jam for years. You're a creature of habit, always ordering the same latte. But then a shiny new coffee shop opens across the street. They've got fancy drinks, comfy chairs, and get this, they grind their beans. That's kind of what's happening here. The US, our trusty old coffee shop, is facing stiff competition from China, the new kid on the block with all the bells and whistles. And guess what? Saudi Arabia, our loyal latter loving customer, is starting to get tempted. But it's not just about who's got the shiniest toys. There's a whole lot more brewing beneath the surface. And trust me, it's a blend of economics, politics, and a dash of good old-fashioned rivalry. Let's talk numbers for a second. Numbers don't lie, and they tell a story that's hard to ignore. Saudi Arabia used to be one of our biggest buyers, especially for things like cars, machinery, and even, you guessed it, agricultural products like those juicy tomatoes. These exports were a significant part of our trade portfolio, contributing billions to our economy. But recently, those numbers have taken a nosedive. The decline isn't just a minor blip. It's a significant drop that has caught the attention of economists and policymakers alike. It's like they're suddenly finding cheaper tomatoes elsewhere, leaving our farmers with a surplus of ketchup ingredients. This surplus isn't just a minor inconvenience. It's a major issue that affects the livelihood of countless farmers. And it's not just tomatoes, mind you. The impact is being felt across a wide range of products. We're talking about a whole range of goods, from cars to computers that are suddenly facing the cold winds of Saudi indifference. These industries are now grappling with excess inventory and reduced demand. Now, some folks might say, so what? They're just one country, but it's not that simple. But remember, when you're a global superpower like the US, even a small dip in trade can send ripples through the economy. The interconnected nature of global trade means that a decline in exports to one country can have far-reaching consequences. And this isn't just a dip, folks. It's starting to look like a full-blown belly flop. The economic impact is being felt across various sectors, leading to job losses and financial instability for many businesses. The question now is how do we adapt? How do we find new markets and opportunities to offset this loss? It's a challenge that requires innovative thinking and strategic planning. Our farmers, manufacturers and policymakers are already hard at work, seeking new avenues and partnerships to ensure that our economy remains resilient in the face of these challenges. While the road ahead may be tough, there's hope that with the right strategies we can turn this situation around and emerge even stronger. All right, let's address the elephant-sized date palm in the room. Saudi Arabia, a nation synonymous with vast deserts and rich oil reserves, has been a long-time ally of the United States. But recently there's been a noticeable shift in their stance. Why is Saudi Arabia turning away from U.S.? 
This question has been on the minds of many political analysts and global strategists. Well, it's complicated, like any good breakup. Relationships, especially on the geopolitical stage, are rarely straightforward. But here are a few key ingredients in this geopolitical cocktail. The mix is intricate, with a blend of historical ties, economic interests and emerging global powers. First, China's playing the long game. They have been meticulously planning and executing their strategies to expand their influence. They've been strategically investing in relationships and infrastructure across the globe, including the Middle East. This isn't just about money, it's about creating lasting bonds. They're offering sweet deals, building ports and railways, and generally making themselves indispensable. These infrastructure projects are not just beneficial for trade, but also for solidifying alliances. Second, there's a growing sense that the United States is becoming, well, unreliable. Our foreign policy has seen its fair share of ups and downs. Our foreign policy can be a bit like a roller coaster, thrilling for some, nausea-inducing for others. The unpredictability can be unsettling for allies who seek stability. And let's be honest, the past few years haven't exactly been our finest hour on the global stage. Political turmoil and inconsistent policies have made it challenging for other nations to rely on us. Finally, let's not forget about the oil itself. Saudi Arabia's economy has long been dependent on oil exports. As the world shifts towards renewable energy, Saudi Arabia knows their black gold won't be the hot commodity forever. They are acutely aware of the need to diversify their economy. They need to diversify in China, with its massive manufacturing sector and insatiable appetite for resources, seems like a good bet. The partnership with China offers Saudi Arabia a pathway to economic stability beyond oil. In conclusion, the shifting dynamics between Saudi Arabia and the United States are a result of a complex interplay of factors. As global power structures evolve, so too do the alliances and strategies of nations. The world is changing and with it, the relationships that have defined international politics for decades. Only time will tell how these new alliances will shape the future. So should we all be freaking out? Are we about to enter a new economic ice age where catch-up flows like lava and iPhones cost a year's salary? Probably not. The US. Economy is a big complex machine and we've weathered worse storms than this. But, and there's always a but, isn't there? This Saudi shift is a wake-up call. It shows that the global balance of power is shifting, and we can't just assume our economic dominance will last forever. What keeps economists up at night? The fear that this is just the tip of the iceberg. What if other countries follow Saudi Arabia's lead? What if China overtakes us as the world's economic superpower? These are big, scary questions, and there are no easy answers. Predicting the future is a fool's game, especially in the volatile world of global trade. The landscape is constantly shifting, influenced by political tensions, technological advancements, and unexpected global events. But here are a few things to keep an eye on. Trends that could shape the future of global trade in significant ways. The US. China rivalry. This is the big one, folks. The ongoing trade war and political tensions between these two superpowers have far-reaching implications. These two titans are locked in a battle for global dominance, and their rivalry will shape the economic landscape for decades to come. Tariffs, trade agreements, and technological competition are just the tip of the iceberg. The rise of emerging markets. It's not just China. Countries like India, Brazil, and Indonesia are experiencing rapid economic growth and are becoming major players on the world stage. Their increasing influence will bring new opportunities and challenges to the global trade network. The future of oil. As the world transitions towards renewable energy, the demand for oil is expected to decline. Oil-producing countries like Saudi Arabia will need to adapt or risk being left behind. Investments in renewable energy and diversification of their economies will be crucial for their future. One thing's for sure, the future of global trade is going to be anything but boring. With so many variables at play, the only certainty is change. Buckle up, folks, it's going to be a bumpy ride. The twists and turns ahead promise to be. Both challenging and exciting as we navigate the uncharted waters of global trade. So what do you think? Is Saudi Arabia's shift a sign of things to come, or just a blip on the radar? Hit us up in the comments. We want to hear your thoughts on how worried are you about the US economy in light of Saudi Arabia's actions? What steps should the U.S. take to remain competitive in the global marketplace? What other topics in the wild world of economics and geopolitics would you like us to cover? Don't be shy, folks. 
We're all friends here, even if our economies are locked in a death match. And that's our show for tonight. Thanks for joining us on this whirlwind tour of global trade and Saudi shenanigans. We'll be back next week with another deep dive into the issues that matter. Until then, stay informed, stay engaged, and for the love of all that is holy, don't forget to stock up on ketchup. What I wish I knew at 16. The future is now, and it's breathtaking. At Revo Now, we're your go-to channel for everything revolutionary. We're passionate about exploring the innovations, the breakthroughs, and the game-changing ideas shaping our world today. From mind-bending technology that feels like sci-fi, to scientific discoveries that push the boundaries of what's possible, we cover it all. Whether it's a cultural shift or a business trend that's set to change the game, we're on it. Our mission? To bring you the latest and most impactful advancements across tech, science, culture, and business, all in one place. So, if you crave the cutting edge and love staying ahead of the curve, hit that subscribe button, like our videos, and share them with your fellow tech enthusiasts. Stay curious, stay excited, and remember, the future is now with Revo Now.